Well, friends and family, good afternoon. What a beautiful, beautiful day. On behalf of Michael and Haley and their families, we just want to welcome you and thank you for being a part of this special occasion. Haley, you look stunning today and you're just as stunning as you look today. That's really how I feel about just your personality, your character and who you are as a woman and as a woman of God. I had in mind to keep an eye on you. I want to thank Mike and Haley for including me in this special day. <laughs> Haley, you look absolutely breathtaking. <laughs> when you were young. And Mike, I couldn't have imagined a more exceptional husband for Haley. I'm so happy to have you part of our family. But you're standing right in front of us. You're standing right in front of us. I got two things I want to share about my daughter, and these are memories that, they're just special. Beautiful, my word. I love it. It's gonna be a beautiful day. I love you. I love you. I've got my guitar, I'm singing a song to my daughter, and she's playing with one of her American Girl dolls there, and Donna's just a few feet away in the kitchen, and uh, Haley stands up, because I'm videoing, she stands up and she says, Daddy, I sing a song. And I go, what song are you going to sing, Haley? She goes, um, Snow White, Someday My Prince Will Come. Anyway, I found this video of you and I, and you were singing, Someday My Prince Will Come. So, two things, Haley Rose. Today your prince came, and he's an awesome guy. It reminds me what I've been missing and I just want to leave one thing with you, okay, because I am getting older. And my son is starting to say. So should the Lord ever will that you have children, I pray that we're around to see it because they're going to be good looking kids. When I saw you for the first time. Michael is very responsible. He's, he's um, very, very driven. He's, he's, he's just such a great guy. And Haley, you, you really did get one of the good ones. As most of you know, Michael's, Michael's a phenomenal athlete, and as with the rest of my boys, the most loyal and humble part of Michael was sticking to it on the basketball team. Because when he first went to George Fox, I said, why do you want to go there? He said, Dad, that's in God's plan. I said, well, I don't see the plan, man. Like, what's the plan? He said, you'll see one day. And eventually, school year ends, senior, senior night. I come to here and see potentially his last game. He introduced me to someone, Haley. Just so beautiful. We're doing it today. Yeah. Baby, so beautiful. Michael Ramon, the day is finally here. I can't believe I'm standing in front of you in a white dress about to spend the rest of my life with you. The man of my dreams. Since I was a little girl, I always dreamed of when I would find my Prince Charming. I would pray and ask Jesus to be building a man for me who loved God above all things and who would love me endlessly. When I finally met you, I knew soon after that you were the person I was praying for. God had answered every single prayer I had and gave me even more than I thought was possible. You have truly shown me what it means to be loved. You cherish me, comfort me, and always lead me back to Jesus. As your bride and best friend, I promise to always do the same. When I met you in college and I went to all of your basketball games, I told you I was your biggest fan and that will always remain true. I promise to push you and support you as you chase all of your biggest dreams. In the years as we grow old and whenever ways you may change, I promise to grow and change with you. I promise to be silly with you laugh with you, 
dance with you and always keep dating you. I cannot wait for a lifetime of adventure and happiness. I am madly in love with you and I am so proud to become your wife. God really gave me more than I prayed for or could ever dream of in a wife. And I'm beyond thankful that he brought us into each other's lives at the time that he did. I'm also overjoyed that I am the man out of four billion men in this world that gets to stand before you today and say these vows. Your heart is so rich with love, strength, confidence, wisdom, and when necessary, spice. <laughs> Since being with you, I've grown so much as a man and have learned how to love others around me better by how you love me. Haley Rose, I promise to make you my top priority. I promise to pour all my heart into our relationship. I promise to be transparent. I promise to treat you like a queen. I promise to protect you and stand up for you. I promise to look at challenges in our relationship as an opportunity to grow together and to grow closer to God. I wouldn't want to live this life with anyone else from our first kid to our first grandkid, to when we're old and gray. Haley Rose, you have my whole heart, and I love you. And in a couple hours, we get to be married in front of those we love. I love you. For as much as you, Michael, and you, Haley, have made this holy covenant and have pledged your sacred vows to one another, I now pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Michael, you may now kiss your eyes.